prefer Tundra because I always just enjoy seeing more brawling lineups, but I can easily see EG making this some... They actually have a crazy damage if they get to spam out a couple spells. But we are seeing that harassment add up. Funny tree here is getting very, very low to the trees. Crit in return, getting run down by Saxa. One more. Got it's it. gonna burn out. It's gonna be first blood on the bottom lane just before up top. And also have Nightfall getting taken down by Skeeter and Snaking. Starting to get slowed down though. We are seeing Arteezy struggle a little bit, but now with Reflection and the meta, going for a kill on the 33, the Ice Armor. It's offsetting everything. And it's giving them that bit of a difference to help survive. And now with this Scorched Earth back up, Saxa. I look to run down Crip. See if they can finish this off. They can. Another round of the Soul Assumption. They, they get the kill. And Oh, Arteezy also dropping very low. Had brain drop. Crit's doing a great job. I think we cursed him a little bit there as Arteezy now getting very pressured. Yeah, he's going to be on his on his own for a little bit of time, as you say. Yeah. Whilst Crit tries to make it back to the lane top. He's going to move on to Jerex. He does able to step up for the buff for Snaking. Burrow Strike comes in. Jerex getting the salve going. But it doesn't matter. Still ends up ticking what? out there. Was that a skeleton hit him from super far or something? <laughs> or was yes. that... Wait, who gave that man a, a Penta Edge Sword here at six minutes in? <laughs> Bottom, they'll find Arteezy. Ah, uh, this, this lane is unbelievably potent right now. The Doom Visage with this armor, they just, they can't actually- Oh, Arbet, he wants that DD. But he's, he's just, gone for it, and I was able to pick it up in time, and now Arbet's a little low on the mana. He's gone enough just to, to break away with that final bit of bull lightning that he has in him. He is not gonna hesitate to dive you. And he was pinging like there's a ward or something back there. I think he just thought he was out of vision. I think he, yeah. He, and he, he was very close to being out of vision. We saw there from Nine's viewpoint. Yeah, right. Only just popped in for a second, but that's all Nine needed to jump in and get the kill. Sox is here. They're gonna be able to set up another here for Nine to get involved in. Jerax goes down. Tundra starting to take over this mid lane and now it's a 2K advantage overall. I bet he's trying to get something back here. It's too much pressure from Tundra right still now. still gonna try and go for this. Nine is low. But he's got two supports by his side. Arbe, can he finish up this kill? One more sip of the stick charges there. He's up to the high ground. He will get the kill, but he's completely out of mana. Arbe, he's going to get run down by the two supports. He needs help to come in. The slow's there from Snaking, but he will live. Arbe's up to the high ground. Jerex turns up. They won't be able to... Does have to make space for it. Does he want to go on the Doom? Nightfall. He's going to commit. He's got the epicenter. They're going to go straight in onto Sack so they'll burst through him. Take down the Doom Arbit's got to be careful around the Familiars and Skeeter. They'll turn their attention towards Nightfall. There's the control from 33. Drops down the Familiars. They'll take him out. <laughs> Goodbye, Crit. AG just can't fight. They have to avoid everything until they feel like they're going to be online with their TBR with the Storm and tanking set up nicely. Back down bottom. There's Arbit. It's a long in to help out Jerax. He's got a hood on this Visage. Very tight. TPs are coming in. We'll see if they can get over to 33 in time to help him out. But three heroes on top of him. Doesn't matter. Even with the hood, they can burst through it. Jerex is going to opt for the TP out. That means that behind him, both the Storm and Stan King have been caught by the combo of Snake King. They may have got the kill on 33, but it will cost them one of their cores, at least. The chase could be there for Nightfall. He's able to break out away from the three of them with a Burrow Strike. And Nine has the chase down. Astral steps in play. Nightfall. He'll try and hide under the cover of the Sandstorm, but they see him. Both cores taken out. Yeah, it, it just it still feels just continues to feel pretty impossible. They're trying to set up now playing up top, looking for Skeeter again since reincarnates down. They're just watching big zip from Arbed. He's used a lot of his mana for this one. They're he's right gone here. in very, very deep. Nightfall's being held off towards the side. Nightfall goes down. Arbed, he's gone in, but he's gone in with no way out. That fe that feels like desperate. It's a I, desperate that, move. that did indeed feel like a Shows his face. Nine is immediately committing. It's a bit of a tougher kill. You know, with the Scardy, the SMY, and the BKB, RTZ is now at that point where there's a high chance he, he can stand and take some of these fights. Skeeter. So in onto the two of them. He's going to step forward. They've got the stun control, but now the BKB's out. So RTZ, he'll be ready to turn. Pots the metamorphosis. They need a bit of control onto Skeeter, but with the BKB up on the Wraith King, Skeeter's able to retreat. Nine. BKB's down. He wants to go back in straight away on top of RTZ here with the Ink 12 stun. Can they burst him? Nightfall turns with the Burrow Strike. They've got the Vortex pullback. They're controlling Nine. That's the age just gone off the Void Spirit. Let's see what he can do here with his second round. He's going for this tanking. He's got the control, but now he doesn't want to commit. Buybacks are coming out. Tundra, they don't want to push it too far. Arbed looks to try and get some sort of catch with a big zip. There it is. He's straight in. RTZ, he needs help and he needs it now. They're immediately on onto the Terra Blade. Is there any save here for RTZ? There is not. He saved this. This was a good, great play from Soxa. N n identifying he doesn't need the Doom for the TB. They have the control coming from this team. It dooms the Sand King just so that they can't actually get any type of save onto RTZ. As Abed now trying to address some waves, but will lose the rest of his team. Jarax is gone. Tier 4 is 
Got to drop super quick. Yeah, they've got a, a whole lot of push here. Tundra, when they're able to turn up as the five. Tier four's dropping. Ah, oh, what a game. Yeah, and GG. there we go. GG. Tundra, ladies and gentlemen, will take this game one. Beautiful game, really. They played it to perfection. I think pretty much like no mistakes throughout this game from almost anybody on the side of Tundra. And yeah, from lanes to mid game. And who is actually playing? Peter is playing Peter Dragon Knight. DK. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, this is. So I just have to watch out for being tossed up. They're pinging. I mean, they're, yeah, they're yeah. trying. He has to be careful for this. He's going to die. Tier two versus like. All right, yeah, he weren't ready <laughs> for that one. He weren't ready for that. Easy first club for Nightfall there. Thanks to, to Crit and the Toss. It's Nightfall. Left alone bottom for a moment. Oh, he's a bit safe for now with the Ring of Health picked up. Mm -hmm. Top. Now making another attempt on to 33. Oh. He just... Okay. Push back will end up missing. Yeah, this, this should be an easy kill here for EG. They take out 33. The lane's looking like a whole lot better than this game one that we saw just now. I think... Crit. <laughs> they need to pull waves. I mean, this one's a little bit weirder. So they didn't get the catch on the mid. Oh. All right, our bed. All right. He was not ready for that one. Saxa just catches him with a bushwhack. He's probably the best hoodwink to me. Like him and Jin uh, maybe Jinku. I'd probably give it to Jinku, but him and Saxa are excellent on this here. On oh, he's yeah. good to set up kill Skeeter. I mean, our bed's going for an aggressive move bottom. He's gonna have to use that last bit of mana to get away as Saxa TP's in. You don't have the damage. Like Storm already got small nerfs and stuff like that, but into Pugna Ward as well. Like your damage is a lot weaker than before. Ravage. Ravage. Gonna commit back in for Saxa. Got the pullback with the Vortex. Saxa, he's still alive though. Arbed could not quite finish him off. And now still incredibly low on mana. Arbed, he's in a whole world of trouble here. He'll get taken out. That was definitely the damage nerfs, right? That was like the overload damage nerf from 10 damage. Also, yeah, I'm gonna look around those power runes. Arbed will get a good one. Okay. He's got the Arcane and he's ready to make moves with it. He's straight in, they've got the Avalanche into the Blood Bright, snaking a nine, very much dead here. As, oh, maybe with the pushback oh. they can turn things. Snaking's still alive, we'll Great get another toss. blast out, but he will still fall. EG get the two qu kills. As Could just get oomed. Now Jarax, this is a oh. too much burst, but he actually gets pushed. I still get taken out here. Maybe EG can do something in return. They'll get the jump over to nine. There's the Ravage, no holding back from Nightfall. Continues to keep that lockdown going on to nine. The Roar is there on to Arben oh, and the pushback. Catch. They're going to be able to chase down probably both of these. It has got the hood. It's going to be enough to get Nightfall out of this. Another round of the axes and Tundra, the four of them, just running down this tide. They got him. They'll burn him out. They'll even be able to pick up their bounty rune on top of it. Yeah, Tundras can definitely look to fight this one. There's no Ravage, but Abed looking for a catch. Nine. The Avalanche, the Rupture, nine. They'll try and get the Thunder going, but the Toss is there. They'll burst through the Pango. Run down Snaking. Oh, it's easy. Very, very speedy. But those would, I would imagine, would be the best. Maybe he wants to throw a Basher into the mix at some point, too, okay. but... On the mid. Get the grab. Pulls him out of range of the life train, though. But he'll kill himself <laughs> trying to use the heal. Yeah, it was, just, it was sort of stuck in that place. Where, you know, do I die to the burn or die to trying to get the heal off? <laughs> yeah, dead evil way there, Jerax. He chooses the, the ward way out. Nightfall. He's broken. He's going to pop the Ravage. I don't think he's going to be able to walk away from this. Oh, he's not. Maybe would have been worth holding on to the Ravage in that situation. Do they go Roche? Even if uh, Tundra, they do have sort of that, uh, that Aegis. EG aren't scared to take a fight. I mean, he'll show himself. Go for Nightfall. See if Nightfall's able to even live long enough to get the Ravage out. They're holding him in position with the Roar. You see Arbet jumping on the back lines, but Nightfall, he's out of the fight. Arbet commits him with a BKB onto 33. They bring down the Beastmaster. Nine, looking towards Arteezy. It'll jump up to the cliff, but Arteezy's getting a bit of a cleanup here. Double kill, triple, triple kill. They can't deal with his Bloodseeker right now. As they've lost four, there's the Aegis taken out of the hands of Nine. Try and jump forward aggressively, in fact, with the swashbuckle. And can Nine and Skeeter still keep this fight going? I don't think they back. can. Crits him with the toss. Nine's in underneath the tower and into the reach of Arteezy. He'll jump out with the swashbuckle. The disarm. Ugh, can they finish him? He needs one more hit here from Jerax. There it is. Impetus back up. Nine goes down. Difficult. And in He can zip pretty far. They'll take the Hawk. So now Jarex has one of his own for some vision. And they'll get the kill. There's the Ravage. But already the BKB and the Rolling Thunder were out. They have to control and Arteezy is stuck in the river. Arteezy is dead. He's out for 70 seconds. And with their Bloodseeker gone, EG, they don't have a fight to take anymore. They've got to run. 
Complete Frick goes control. down. They played it perfect. I mean, they're now straight into Roche. And, and once more, the ravages are coming out, but Tundra, they're too quick with the reactions. See them? Arbed oh, and Nightfall still trying to mess with them around the pit. Tundra, another zip forward. Arbed oh, really trying to, to challenge this Roshan attempt. Still has the regen. Can go for another one. He's in on the pit. He's coming in for He's able he to do it. it. He gets the kill. He gets the Aegis. And he also gets out with their last bit of mana. Arbed grabbing back with a, a huge move there after a very, very few. RTZ. He's got to be ready to react. And with the shield crash, there's the BKB. We'll try and turn a committed onto nine, but the Eon Disc will keep nine safe. He's off to the side. RTZ now with the remainder of this BKB having to run 33. He's they break the linkers. They've got the roar. They lock down the Bloodseeker. RTZ is still trying to run. The rest of his team will keep the distance for him to back off. Chase, the swashbuckle jump forward with the Shard of Skeeter. It's burning nice them force. down. They've got the stun control on Jerax, but RTZ will live. They're able to get him out of that. Whose force was that? Someone, I, I think RTZ was going to get caught by that bushwhack, but either way, nine. Now the ult. I mean, Arbet's zipping in on this. It's a three-man vortex. Any sort of follow-up, snaking and sacks are both getting very low, but nine and 33 off to the oh side. My. Take out Arbet. And two buybacks already coming out from EG. RTZ is trying to run in on this, but his BKB is still on cooldown for 30 seconds. The Linkers has been broken. RTZ has got to back off. Big hit coming in with the ultimate from, from Saxa. They'll force Nightfall back up to the high ground. The Tundra's all ready. I mean, they are. It's got to be a huge ravish for Nightfall. He's no, ooh, can he get the jump in? He's going to sort of just watch. <laughs> Frit die for now. He's waiting for the opportunity, but he's been silent. Look at Skeeter go. They're having to back off. RTZ once again having to put the BKB and TP out, but they've got the raw to stop it. RTZ, he'll go down. As EG, I mean, it really feels what's well, for the last 15 minutes. They just cannot take a fight against Tundra. Tundra, they're starting to get this game into a similar territory as game one, where they're just in full control. And they're taking this down just as quickly as some lineups would without the backdoor. They're going to keep going. Yep. All right, we don't need creeps. On right, to the next. I mean, they, they pretty much have the ideal lineup in terms of sort of damage that you can offer through that. It's just shredding the buildings. There's no sort of protection. Oh, here we go. The Ravage is a big one. The buyback's coming in, but immediately the roar's out onto Arbed. Arbed getting locked down. Another the second one. roar there with the refresher. <laughs> Arbed's taken out. Both him and RTZ buying back. EG, this is going to be potentially their last attempt to try and find a fight. A third buyback coming in. They'll catch nine. So if they can get anything more, they need to. EG, they've invested a whole lot into holding this fight. A big zip from Arbed. Not able to get the grab on Saxa. I just keep watching RTZ, like his BKB, the whole duration of it, he's having kind of just to run away. Yeah. And I mean, they, they've, got, they've got to do this EG. They invested so much into that defense. They have to go and look for kills. And Sox is there to break it with his little camouflage. And he's going to turn. This is going to be a buyback for nine. Tundra, they know with the buyback used on EG, if they get one of these cores, it's going to be game over. Oh, not easy. BKB is still on cooldown for 12 seconds. He's caught. So They're in with it. the control. That's going to be it. GG. It's cool. As Tundra will take game two. And with that, they'll get themselves both wins in this series. 2-0 against Evil Geniuses.